If you're searching for a high-end TV for your home theater and you are willing to pay a premium for the best possible color and black levels, then it's hard to beat the LG Evo G4. But there are also other options available in the market like the Samsung S95D, but the LG's colors are more accurate and out of the box, its design is a little sleeker, and its WebOS interface is easier to use. Both the OLED TVs come with the same price point. However, the advantages of the LG Evo G4 are better compared to the Samsung S95D. In this video, we will see what features and specifications make the LG Evo G4 stand out from its rivals. But before we continue on today's video, let me introduce myself. I am your host, The Techie Guy, and I love to create and share these kinds of videos with you. I would request you to hit that like and subscribe button. This little help of yours helps the YouTube algorithm to suggest our videos to more tech enthusiastic people just like you and me. Thanks for understanding, friends. All done? Let's continue. The G series has always been meant for wall mounting, and the G4's simple design reflects that. Only a thin metallic band runs around all edges of the screen, making it effectively bezel-less when most other premium TVs maintain narrow bezels along their bottom edges. The panel is also very thin at just an inch deep and flat along the back to enable nearly flush wall mounting. The only departure from its perfectly rectangular design is a tiny bump on the bottom edge of the screen to hold the IR remote sensor, indicator LED, and far field microphones. If you do want to mount the G4 very close to the wall, you'll probably want to figure out cable management first. All ports sit in a shallow, L-shaped recess on the left side of the back of the TV and aren't easily accessible with a very thin, fixed wall mount. Two HDMI ports, one eARC, and a USB port face left, while two more HDMI ports, two more USB ports, an Ethernet port, an optical audio output, two 3.5mm ports for RS-232C home theater integration and the included IR blaster, and an antenna cable connector face down. LG's Magic Remote remains the workhorse controller for the company's high-end TVs. It's a slightly curved black wand with a circular navigation pad in the middle, surrounding a clickable scroll wheel. Volume and channel rockers sit above the navigation pad with a number pad further up, while four color buttons and dedicated service buttons for Amazon Alexa, Amazon Prime Video, Disney Plus, LG Channels, Netflix, and Sling sit below. The remote functions as an air mouse, letting you control an on-screen pointer by waving it, but you can also browse menus like normal with the navigation pad. The air mouse function is useful, especially for using the TV's web browser, but it causes the minor annoyance of occasionally making the pointer appear when you move the remote around too much with normal use. LG's WebOS Smart TV platform is a powerful system that enables loads of features on the G4. Most major streaming services are available on the TV, including Amazon Prime Video, Apple TV, Disney+, Max, Netflix, Twitch, and YouTube. It can connect to computers over Miracast YD and iPads, iPhones, and Macs over Apple AirPlay. MultiView enables split-screen and picture-in-picture -picture viewing of multiple sources. This feature is a bit limited, supporting only one HDMI source alongside an AirPlay stream, Spotify, or YouTube, but not other apps. WebOS also has a built-in web browser, and it's easy to use with the Magic Remote's Air Mouse. Some experts say WebOS is better than Samsung's Tizen OS smart TV platform, though both are proprietary to their manufacturers and share similar interface elements. Samsung generally buries its picture settings a menu layer or two deeper than WebOS and other platforms, and Tizen tends to feel overbearing when you want to make adjustments. WebOS on the G4 also supports hands-free Amazon Alexa, thanks to the TV's far-field microphone. The LG Evo G4 is a 4K OLED TV with 120Hz refresh rate. It supports high dynamic range, HDR, in Dolby Vision, HDR10, and hybrid log gamma, HLG. 
It features Wi-Fi 6E for streaming media and an ATSC 1.0 tuner for over-the-air broadcasts up to 720p, but no ATSC 3.0 tuner for 1080p or 4K broadcasts. Some experts tested the TVs using a Klein K10A colorimeter, a Muradeo 6G signal generator, and portrait displays Kalman software. Samsung's S95D wowed them with the brightest picture they have seen in an OLED TV by far, but the G4 is neck and neck on that front. Out of the box, with an HDR signal in HDR cinema mode, the G4 shows a peak brightness of 243 nits with a full screen white field, 1103 nits with an 18% white field, and a blazing 1510 nits with a 10% white field. That's in line with the S95D. 321 nits, full screen, 1060 nits 18%, 1613 nits 10%, which means both TVs are on close to equal footing with many high-end LED TVs in terms of light output. The mini LED he sends U8N blows them out of the water with more than double the peak brightness of both OLEDs put together at 2,155 nits for an 18% field. But its trade-off is light bloom and blacks that aren't as inky or detailed. An OLED TV proves to offer some of the best performance in gaming. Using an HD Fury Diva HDMI matrix, measured an input lag of 5ms with game optimizer mode. That's below the 10 meters threshold. We used to consider a TV to be among the best for gaming, but not as low as we saw on the C3 or the S95D. Diving into the game optimizer menu and changing the prevent input delay setting from standard to boost fixed that dropping the G4's latency to sub-1Ms. That's in line with the other two OLEDs, and below what we can measure. When game optimizer mode isn't turned on at all, input lag is 80.7Ms. Speaking of game optimizer mode, it's more than a latency-cutting picture mode. It enables a pop-up quick menu specifically designed for gaming, similar to the game bar on Samsung TVs. It shows the current source's status, including refresh rate, and if VRR or AMD FreeSync, both are supported, are turned on, and provides easy access to more common motion-focused settings. In summary, the LG Evo G4 is simply the best-looking OLED TV. Its picture is fantastic, rivaling the Samsung S95D and many high-end LED TVs in brightness, but with more accurate colors. It's also the first G-Series TV to include a table stand, so you don't need to mount it to enjoy its sleek design. It's quite expensive, but if you want the best picture possible, the LG Evo G4 earns out Editor's Choice Award. If you want OLED picture quality but don't want to spend as much, last year's LG Evo C3 and Samsung S90C can still be found for much less. I hope you enjoyed this video. Do check out my other videos shown on the screen. Also, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button for more amazing content. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.